Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We are here at Poshley Heights and we're gonna... We're gonna go in and get our next crystal star right now. Should be pretty easy, right? You know, just walk in, pick up the crystal star, and then you peace out, right? We've already done most of the chapter, right? Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, we, we had our big, uh, our big boss fight, we had our big dungeon in the station. We had our intrigue and our funny moments. It's just get the star and go home. That easy. And proceed to fall through a trapdoor. Oh no! I knew it! I knew it! No! But we got here so fast! <laughs> a bit of an odd duck, that. Uh, okay, well, we're, we're getting chased by assassins, they sold the crystal star, and then they're going, they're getting away, we gotta go get him right now! Why are we talking about this? Just go! Go get him! That was a fake! Oh, well, cool. I'm glad how easy it is to counterfeit a crystal star, this is the second fake one we've seen. Then, how do we know that we have the real ones? Well, they reacted with the Thousand Year Door, that's a pretty good indication. I mean, it takes a little while to counterfeit a, a, the new hundred dollar bills. How long could it take to directly counterfeit a crystal star? Well, with 3D printing, anything's possible. Well, okay. So, uh, the real crystal star is hidden somewhere in the Sanctum, but as the curator of such, he is not allowed to disclose where exactly. But, we're a bunch of smarty-smarts, we can figure it out. If you look closely, there's a blue switch at that top left there. Oh. We gotta get over there. Alright. Uh, quick, use your party gear badges journal. Okay, so it's a climbing puzzle. Yeah, not, not a very complicated one. <laughs> we're gonna uncharted this crystal star. <laughs> Let's go to the very top of the Aztec ruins and find it. Yep, I knew there was going to be a paper airplane. Yeah, this part would be easy for the Prince of Persia. <laughs> Just flip here, flip there, and bam, he's got it. Bing, bang, boom. Prince has it. Or, you know, wall run on the side of these, but, you know, uh, Mario is a, is a bit paper right now, so I don't, I don't think he can do it really well. Can I get... Oh. I thought that was like a ledge or something. Silly me. Oh my. Are you having trouble with a 2D platforming puzzle? No, no. There is no trouble. I'm just kind of exploring too. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious what we gotta do now. Go up here. Go to this paper airplane pad. Don't fudge it up. I ain't fudging up shit. <laughs> Graceful. <laughs> like a swan. A paper swan. And that was well, a little bit... Oops. It's like they realized how impossible this was without the star pads, uh, star pads there. That is good design. Probably sent a couple testers and say, Hey, how difficult is this? Two hours later. Okay, let's put a marker there or something. And bip. Ta da! Hmm. Okay. Oh, and I like that little detail that when the curtain raised, there was a pipe in the picture. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! No wonder there was a pipe in the, the picture. The real sanctum is wow. inside the painting. And it's haunted. Hella haunted, jeez. Oh no. So these are a new type of boo, I assume? They are. Are they poisoned? Nope, oh, but well. we're too strong for them. Alright. <laughs> well, that's okay. I like, I like strong. I like being strong. Ah! Yep. I don't like getting ambushed. 
Okay, there we go. There's more than one, so now we okay. they actually have to put up a fight. What are we Man. looking at, Goombells? Hey, Goombella, do you mind if I just call you Bella? It shortens your name. But it doesn't so get a... rid of your pretty side of your name. It's oh. a dark boo. Ooh. Like, what kind of dark are we talking? Like, dark as in, you know, shadow or dark as in... Anyway, so there were ten dead babies in a cart, and then they... Dude. Dude. Come on, I thought you were like dark chocolate boo, but no! You're just dark humor boo. <laughs> what would a boo look like with 70% cacao anyway? Have you actually ever had a 100% dark chocolate bar? I can't even stand regular dark chocolate. It, it's How the a, f why would you eat that? It, it's a trip. It, it's one of those very unique candies where you have to take a break halfway through. And even then, you just save it for another day. That's like, I like Tabasco. Oh, do you like eating a uh, real capsaicin or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you mind having all of these amazingly hot peppers? And do you also like chocolate that you can't finish in one go? Yes, Puzzle's we... the same here. Oh, good. Like, the exact same. So, the exact same. that's... that's a pretty decent idea, you know, the kids at home are figuring out the- oops, Damn it. are figuring out this puzzle, and they're like, oh, well, if this is the real Sanctum, then there, there might be something in the place where the button was. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. <gasps> I saw an L, does it turn you into Luigi? Why don't we go ahead and make our way over there and find out. <laughs> First, there's oh, a Shine Sprite! A Shine Sprite! Awesome! Just give these things away. I really need to play through 3D All-Stars version of Sunshine, because, uh, I, I don't know why they decided, you know what, no GameCube controls. Oh my god, I was right! It's the L emblem! Oh! Costs no BP, and it changes you to look like our good old brother Luigi. But before that, let me, uh, go ahead and... Accumulate some badges here. This is what I like doing it while recording. It's just uh, fucking uh, do that one. No, uh, well, I got a lot of uh, charge, but uh, shrinks to no. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. Maybe not head rattle, but uh, 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 tornado jump. Yeah, sure. No, wait. No, I mean, uh, you're having happy a fight heart? with your past self. Okay, there. <laughs> Check oh, it out. I love it. Oh, I always knew Paper Mario was a cosplayer. Yeah. And there it is, the really, real, real Whoa! Crystal Star. Oh, that's awesome. We now hey, have uh, the special attack showstopper. Hey, hey Mario, you still have it? You have an M on your hat, and I, I think you need to change that to an M. Anyway. Well, if we change it to an L, it'd just be identity theft at that point. So, identity theft is a real problem, Jim. Why do you think Wario had to turn everything upside down? <laughs> but now only one crystal star remains, but our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be? And where is Peach being held? Hoping this crystal star might yield answers, Mario and friends return to Pennington. I really love the idea that Wario has to avoid copyright issues <laughs> because of his outfit. Oh, oh uh, it's, uh, okay. Guess we gotta get out of here. Maybe give us an extra chance to get the L emblem if we just wait for the crystal star first. Oh, that makes sense. So you're not locked out of it. Yeah. Good idea. It's actually been a long time since I've played an RPG that locks you out of things if you happen to forget it. Like if you take one extra step into a unskippable cutscene, and then all of a sudden you just move forward and you can't get back. It's been a long yeah. time. I'm glad game design has fixed that. You don't really see a lot of uh, locked-out content in games anymore. Well, they mean exist in, from place to place, but... Usually it doesn't like to lock you out of stuff that you missed. 
I think my favorite part is um, when they have a save point right before a very dramatic choice. It's a way to, to it's a game's way of letting you know. It's like, hey, it's gonna be something crazy up ahead. Why don't you go ahead and make a save in case you fuck up? Goodbye, Luigi. Oh, believe me, Pennington, I will not miss you. Hey, he finally got us right. We are Luigi. That, that is true. I half expect him to go, it's like, Oh dear, who are you? Oh, you must be your brother Mario. Well, uh, could you tell Luigi that uh, the Crystal Star is safe in his hands uh, or whatever? Pennington, please. Ah, yes. Didn't take long for that to, that to pan out. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> you called me dude. That's sir dude to you. <laughs> you know, seeing these X knots again, what do you think the X stands for? Um... Tahiti. X Tahiti. But the X is slanted, so it's really supposed to be a T. You know, I'm gonna say they represent Microsoft in this debacle. Microsoft? Hey, hear me out, hear me out. All these X's represent all those shitty gamer tags that were sh that shown up on Xbox 360. You're telling me Lord Grobus is Bill Gates? He could be. He's got all the funding. Look at all this. Oh, He's got the tech. Xbox Series X is calling us. Let's go see. <laughs> I can just imagine. With with all the teraflops that tech has, he rivals at Xbox Series X. I've decided to cut off pre-orders, Princess Peach. I hope you don't mind. I mean, he's basically the HAL 9000 Series X, right? <laughs> Oh, sorry. This is a this is an older model. It's uh, the HAL 9001. God, the naming conventions and consoles suck. At least PlayStation went numerically. Oh no, the ethics chip in tech is malfunctioning. Must post on Reddit R politics. I infected this computer with the morals virus. I must release you, for captivity is unbecoming of a princess such as yourself. So now we know everything about Grotus's plans. This is what we've been trying to figure out for the whole game now, really. You shall be the sacrifice to the dragon of the Thousand Year Door. Well, I guess we're getting those details later. Yep. So Peach has got to get out of here. Because Grotus's plans involve her in some sinister, nefarious way. Imagine that. And we're I mean, on the moon! That, what? The moon. The moon! The moon moon. Like, uh, if it's dark right now, look outside, look up, and, you know, you see the moon? Yeah, that's where you are! You're on the moon! Oh. Well, we just need to wait for the kid from Termina to stop this place. Oh, not that moon, the other moon. Oh. The one with the happy face on it. Uh, such a happy moon. Look at him on screen, he's such a happy moon. <laughs> Don't worry, I am no snitch, because snitches get stitches. So now we get to play this exciting escape uh, par uh, portion with Peach. So we go through vents and avoid enemies and 
stealth it up to get out of here. But we gotta give Mario our message about everything first, and... Uh, oh no, we've been caught. Alright, alright, right, hang on, hang on. Just let me finish typing, and I am on the moon, and bad <laughs> things are happening, and I'm going to get well, kit. I mean, she said please. Oh ah, no! You! Bill Gates, no! Actually, I wouldn't say Microsoft, I'd say more like Google. <laughs> oh, Sir G, Lord Google. Because what does Google love doing more than anything in the world? Destroying its enemies. Killing off its own products. <laughs> Goodbye, YouTube. You have malfunctioned towards me for the last time. Delete YouTube forever. So we're gonna run a system restore, basically. Oh, Lord. That reminds me, I need to back up my PC. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah, me too. Boop, 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 boop. What, wrong backup? I just thought that was your PC beeping for dear life. <laughs> Hurry! Run the Windows update! He won't survive! No! He is gone. He is now vistified. And there he goes. Deletion complete. Our first major death of the game, Tech. Activating murder protocol. <laughs> you inhuman beast. Every computer life. How could you just snuff them out like that? Well, uh... Unfortunately, I think our time with Princess Peach is, uh drawn to a close. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, she's dead. Good yeah. job, you got the bad ending. I knew I should have done more side quests. Bowser? Bowser? Bowser Daddy? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> rar, rar, fear <laughs> me, uh, blag. Rar, grr. Oh, I'm just beat. Last time we saw him, he got blown up by a fucking bomb, so... <laughs> As usual. Hey, I've seen the ending of Super Mario Land 3. Yeah, he does steal everything as usual. <laughs> Aha! A suspicious underground chamber. Oh, it's not even on the maps. Maybe Bowser will finally find a lead. The lead that we can follow. I've always wondered, does Bowser actually listen to what his minions call him? Like, that last one was your massiveness. And uh, I don't know if I if I would want to be called that by my minions. As long as it starts with your and ends in Ness, he doesn't care. That means that people are showing him respect. Ah, uh, your goofiness. Hello. Goodbye. All right, so... Luigi's here, too. Oh! Yes! Let's do it! Yeah! Ooh, this remix, though! I would play a whole game like this. Yeah, me too. Especially if you grow big. Yeah, grow big. boom! Blah! <laughs> Smash them like paper! Oh! That's mm. neat. Oh no! I wanna try something here, because I can't get down there, unless if I get hit. There we go. Oh, he's so tiny! Bitty bitty baby Bowser! Look at Whittle Bowser! Oh my gosh! The den uh, it's, it's already over. What? I know. What? No, die real quick. No! No! Damn it! The 
tiny mushroom, a whole two years before it arrived in New Super Mario Brothers. Oh man, I'm really liking these remixes of the songs. He could be more super. Let's be honest. Dude, if we ever get a game called Super King Bowser, I'm all about it. Look Peach, over here! If Peach can get her own game, Bowser deserves his own game too, not shared with the Mario Brothers. That's such a weird thing too, like, if, if you think about what side characters have gotten their own games... I don't know, Tingle gets his one. own fucking game! And Bowser yeah. doesn't get his own solo game?! That's just injustice right there! And hey, it's Rock Hawk! Now we just need a switch game, Big Cock Rock Hawk. Oh yeah! Rock out with your switch out. Rock out with your hawk out. <laughs> I like that though. I do. No. <laughs> yes. Uh oh. Oh look at you! You're just a cute little mid boss. <laughs> Weren't you the first boss? <laughs> oh! Pain. See, Bowser still got it. He don't got it. <laughs> so for those keeping score at home, it is Mario 6, <laughs> X-Nots 1, <laughs> Bowser Zero. Zero. It's Flim Flam. We've been duped. We've been swindled. We've been smackledorfed. That's not even a word, and I agree with you. Man, can that go back to being an insult? You're such a chicken nugget. Oh well. Poor Bowser. Oh, that was both of their segments. Okay. Yep. So we're not saying goodbye yet because uh we got a we got a few things that I want to do before we uh, start our next chapter. So how come it takes three days to get there, but only half an hour to get back? Well, we did fix the bridge. Oh, yeah. All right! Ah! <laughs> Sprint speech's email! Oh, this should be good. Hmm. Mario, I now know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, they need my... Dress. Shoes. They need my colorful personality. Sense of fashion. They need my long flowing locks. They need my input. My amazing earrings that you got me last Thursday. Hey! Dude! What are the odds? Look, look at you, eh? <laughs> Rapturous ruins. It's actually sort of sad if you want to know the truth. I like sad. Let's go sad. Yeah, I'm good for sad. All right. <clears throat> Rapturous From Ruins. Enlightened. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. After journeying deep into the Grimble Forest, I found the domed Rapturous Ruins. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor became walls. Proceeding a dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry and that he'd wake for a child of fate. That didn't make any sense to me, so I started searching quietly for the compass piece. But then it happened, bro. I got a tiny tickle on my nose, and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it, because he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled, and all of a sudden I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of an ancient race, the Luffs. He had been there guarding the marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. He told me that the compass is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luff Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the compass, and their empire collapsed. To prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven parts. He hid six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero woke him. I was that hero, bro! He gave it to me, and then he and the ruins vanished! 
When I added that piece to the compass, it pointed to the far north where the dreaded Hate Song Tower stands. This time I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess! I will be super! And then I'll... 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 Well, I'll figure the rest out later. Anyway, I headed back to here to Roadport after that. I'm making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro, but that's what I've been up to anyway. Well, what a journey yeah. you've had, buddy. The hero of legend, woken by a sneeze. Or, sorry, awakes the MacGuffin by a sneeze. Right, so uh, let's do a couple more things before we sign off. I think you're going for that chest I saw during Bowser's cutscene, yes? Yep. Good. Good. Now we got the ultra boots, we can now make an ultra jump and get that chest. Well, I mean, this clearly is a 100% uh, run, yes? 100% as far as I'm concerned. 100% <laughs> story, let's say. You need J% percent, we'll say that. Okay, yeah. It's the ultra hammer! Oh, hell yeah! We got an ultra boots and an ultra hammer, we are sitting pretty! I see you again, Toadette. It's always it's always a pleasure. It's called Hammer Time. Let's practice right away. It's the same thing as the Super Hammer. Oh, really? Just hold B, rotate the control stick, and whoosh, 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 whoosh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what that basically means is that we can now clear blocks like this. Oh. We get an extra Ultra Hammer battle technique too, but... There are no <gasps> more abilities to learn. What? Oh, you're such a fangirl, Toadette. I'm glad we got to see you. See you in Captain Toad. See you in New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. Oh lord. That is the... <laughs> that is the last time we've seen Toadette. No, we see her I don't plenty think... after that. You know, plenty of sports games and all that, you know. Was she even in Super Mario Party? I don't even remember now. I think she... May maybe, I don't know. Oh my. And now, my friends, it is now finally time. To upgrade Coops. To upgrade Flurry. What? Just because I can... Get the up hell out of here. I mean, why not? Why not? <laughs> you have finally given the people what they want. Doesn't mean we're ever going to use her still, but she's got it. At least there's that. At least there's that. Yeah. Let's power up some more! Who's next? Bobbery! Here you go! Shazoopy! Zibby. Shazoopy! Shazoopy! <laughs> Dalakamood, a metakabood, a shabbity shabbity shoo. Give me your shoe, and then what do you have? One less shoe to walk on. I don't know. And Yoshi or Vivian? Eh, I'll give it to Yoshi. Vivian can... Or uh, Vivian. Also because uh, the, the stampede attack looks pretty good. I don't know that uh, Vivian can handle herself in battle still. Yoshi uh, still kind of has an HP problem. And I can change my mind at any time and give all the upgrades uh, to Yoshi or Vivian and take him away from Flurry and Koops. Yeah, yeah. So let's be honest, they're, they're the two most useless uh, party members in our group right now. That's fair. Make sure everybody gets equal treatment. Yeah, for now anyway. So, Shazubi, Shazubi. we got plenty more side stuff that we'll be doing next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. And, uh, well, uh, it's gonna be some fun stuff, so stick around. We'll see you I'm next time. Welcome to the journey.